For many, many moons now, Minecraft has had an absolutely fire mob sitting, waiting inside of the queue. Today, we ask but one simple question. Is it finally time? Is the Illusioner coming to Minecraft 1.21? From a little bit of reasoning as to why I think the Illusioner is a very real possibility for this update, all the way over to where we could maybe expect to even find this guy and what it could do. Yeah, kick back, get comfortable, because today we'll be talking it all. Let me know what you think about this debate down below, tap like, and let's go. So if we're going to talk about the Illusioner, I think there's one spot that we should start. The absolute ultimate basics, just in case you have no clue what this thing is in the world. The Illusioner is a mod that was added to Minecraft in like 1.12 or something like that. It's been in the game for a long time, except it hasn't. Uh -huh. Over on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, in one of the newest updates, if we go ahead and try and run a simple command, summon Illusioner, it, it's not going to work. The Illusioner is not real. And in fact, even on Minecraft Java Edition, where the Illusioner definitely does exist, it's only partially implemented, with no spawn egg existing in the game. When it comes to Drip, this guy's got it. This is one of the cleanest looking outfits in the entire game. It's essentially some nighttime robe thing. You got the bottom piece, you got the top gap, and of course, that grayed out evil looking pillager skin. If one was to say, summon in an illusioner, we'll find out pretty quickly, pretty quickly that this thing has some finished AI and actually is like, almost cooked up in the oven and baked up well, ready to go. Now our friend, the Illusioner, way over there, is a dangerous mob. Very, very dangerous. Absolutely gonna want to gear up a little bit before we try and take one of these things up. If you've never experienced an Illusioner battle in your life, I mean, you've been messing out, but at the same time, it's dangerous. It's really, really bad. You don't really want to mess with this guy. At first, the first stage is it sticks its arms up in the air, summons something, and jumps around and tries to shoot you. When you run up to this thing and hit it, check this out, it will literally multiply in front of your face except it does at the same time. If we try and say like attack one of these other ones flying around, the arrow kind of basically doesn't really do anything. It goes right through the clones. If we look closely though, we can see some invisible particles and that's exactly what happened. The Illusioner is a tricky witch. No, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone. The Illusioner is a little bit tricky and- Give me a break. The Illusioner's tricky. The real one is invisible in between these mobs and the openings eventually will hit it somewhere or not, uh, or not. Maybe a bow? Yeah, 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 a bow is probably the real strat. Basically, we want to take our bow and try and hit in the middle of all these guys because that should be, allegedly speaking, where the real one is, but maybe it's not, and, and maybe this is why they never added it. It's so hard. Definitely gonna take this thing out in your world? Eh, maybe don't use iron. With a grand total of 32 health and dealing up to 5 damage per hit on hard difficulty, the Illusioner is a very, very dangerous mod. The story of the Illusioner began with Minecraft 1.12 and unfortunately ended with Minecraft 1.12 as well, at least for a long time. You see the Illusioner being added to the game only one update after the Evoker was added in Minecraft 1.11, it seemed like the theming like was kind of perfect here. We got one dangerous bad guy in one update, we get the next update and here's another dangerous one that you'll find somewhere in the world. At the time of this thing being added, pretty much the only place that pillagers existed was actually the Woodland Mansion. So it was assumed that this is where this guy was going to end up living, but fast forward a little bit and it was cut from the update. On Minecraft Java, all of the assets, like textures and everything like that, and the code for this mob itself, it would remain in the game, so you could like summon it in nowadays, but that's just about it. To this very day on Minecraft to Java, it sits in the game, waiting, basically ready to go. And over on Minecraft Bedrock, well, when this thing was being added to the game, a Minecraft to Bedrock, it actually didn't exist quite yet. Nowadays, how the turns have dipped. When it comes to why this thing actually never officially fully made it into the game, I don't know if the devs ever specifically said, like word for word, hey, this is why. The devs have since said, though, that they do definitely want to add the Illusioner to the game at one point. In 1.14, they actually almost added the Illusioner into the raid. Whether this mob is just deemed way too difficult to deal with, they just didn't have a place for it at the time, or maybe Minecraft Bedrock Edition couldn't pull it off back in the day. Whether any of those options might be the case, the case here is that the Illusioner is not in the game. Or at least, not in the game for a few more months. In the modern era that is right now, Minecraft features are now added in a very different way. Under the experimental toggle toggle inside of the menu, we have different things we can turn on or off. If the Illusioner was being added back in the day, it probably would have been found under the experimental toggle and... 
<clears throat> looking at the bundle and considering the nostalgia trip that is that, I guess the Illusioner would be like the oldest experimental toggle here even longer than the bundle spent. With our basic introduction, a little taste, and short story as to why it's not in the game already out of the way, now I think it's time we take a look at all the reasons that I've dug into as to why I think the Illusioner is a very real possibility for this next Minecraft update. Beginning with none other than, of course, the devs themselves and what they emotionally, deeply, passionately feel inside of their heart. Aww. Over on the brand new, much improved Minecraft wiki, we can find a little bit of information on the Illusioner. Now, I know the wiki is the wiki. It's not always the, the end-all, be-all, most credible source in the world. But if we go ahead and look at the timeline of the Illusioner down here, we can find that back in 2019, yeah, yeah, sure enough, they talked about wanting the Illusioner to come to the ring. Last year, and I can actually vividly remember this one, but last year, the Illusioner, its model was actually changed. That gave me hope that this thing was almost here. I'm watching the movement of the Minecraft snapshot, something that we like to do every single week over here on the Waddle's YouTube channel. We kind of know how the devs like to do things nowadays. Sometimes they will add something into the game, and then maybe like other parts of it will sit in the game, but be unused for a long, long time. This decorated pot is probably like the best, most modern example of it. Like, check this out. Using the stick on the pot, it's still not clear exactly what this whole block state shuffling is actually doing. Considering the fact that the developers were updating the Illusioner as recently as last year, and they've stated that they want it to come to the game. Well, I don't know. I feel like I don't need to explain that one anymore. Speaking of the developers wanting to partially add it to the game, summon Illusioner. Hold on a second. It's in the game. Yeah, this is another one that doesn't really need any explanation. If they want an easy feature for an update, I mean, I don't know if I can think of an easier one. Exactly, just like our beautiful boy, the bundle that has been sitting in the game, queued up, almost ready to go. When it comes to the Illusioner, it seems like this guy is basically just about ready to go and could be added to Minecraft at almost any second. With the devs seeing the community hungry for not only just a new Minecraft update, but maybe bigger Minecraft updates again, kind of like the Nether update, the Illusioner. And I mean, heck, while we're at it, I know this video isn't about it, but I can't help myself, the bundle. While we're at it, the Illusioner, the bundle, those would be great things to easily add to an update. But look, look, I, I'm not crazy at all. I know that the Illusioner can't just be added to any Minecraft update. I mean, after all, add the Illusioner into like, say, 1.19 wild update and yeah, sure, sure we'll why? Right. As technically possible as it would be, I suppose the Illusioner could be added into any Minecraft update. But it doesn't exactly make sense to add the Illusioner into any Minecraft update, does it? Enter the great, the wonderful, the upcoming Minecraft 1.21. From a quick look at all of the features inside of this update, it's pretty quick to realize that the combat update... I mean, it's kind of here. So back at Minecraft Live 2023, when the devs were debuting this big brand new new update, they said that they wanted to focus on updating things that have been in the game. And they also said they wanted to focus on a little bit of combat updating as well, as it's, um, after all, only been like half a decade since they touched the system. The Illusioner, our blue duplicated cloning friend that I just can't deal with at all today, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, that guy. I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like if there's any feature related to combat, this might actually be one of them. I don't know. Just a hunch. But of course, every brand new, especially brand new good, iconic mob that is the Illusioner, would need a good structure to reside in. When it comes to structures in Minecraft 1.21, <laughs> well, boy, have you been living under a rock or something underneath the trial chambers? Because, oh, we got a beautiful new structure. And this one's kind of perfect. Currently, as it stands, the Minecraft trial chambers kind of in a way lacks a really, really tough brand new iconic mode. I mean, of course, of course, with those beautiful eyebrows, glowy yellow eyes like it has, we can't sleep on it. We cannot forget about the freeze. It's definitely a mob. But is the freeze, say, a difficult mob? Especially when I want to behave like that. Yeah, not so much. Aside from maybe those randoms, insanely OP poison skeletons you'll find in some of the trial chambers. The trial chambers, it, it has an iconic mob, but it doesn't really have like a, a proper challenge. Super dangerous mob. Something new and interesting to bring to the game. But that's the thing. If we want to talk about a true danger, a real proper challenge the devs could introduce into this structure. Oh me, oh my. I feel like I know exactly just the perfect mob that is insanely dangerous and could fit in here super well. 
<laughs> now speaking of fit in here, imagine this. You make your way into the trial chambers, you chamber your way through the chamber until eventually you find a room. Maybe it looks something like this, minus the bunch of spawners. You could walk into this room and then realize that, oh no, this is actually one of the boss chambers. Instead of a bunch of different trial uh, spawners around the side, maybe you have like one dead center in the middle that will pop out one in only one mob. This one and only one mob, well, you get the point. You know who it's gonna be. Instead, my point here with this one is not that the structure lacks a challenging mob. We already made that point. It's that the structure also kind of has the perfect arena to take on a mob like the Illusioner inside of. This mob is gonna be a dangerous, difficult mob if implemented how it is. With the controlled environment that is the trial chambers, no other random hostile mob, the creepers spawning in here, a controlled environment is perfect for a little bit more of a confusing, more challenging mob, kind of like the Illusioner. You could totally have one big chamber room, kind of like this, big and open, maybe a couple obstacles to hide behind. Something big and dangerous like this room, with one super bad villain, like the king of the chamber even, the boss here, waiting in the middle. Speaking of bosses, if this thing was a horse, it would be long gone, far departed. I feel like I've talked about this one quite a bit, but over on none other than the Minecraft YouTube channel. This short specifically, right next to the beautiful one, a very long time ago, specifically last spring, the devs posed a question to a Minecraft villager. Do you have plans to add a new boss to the game? And the villager said, yes. Considering the fact that the devs want this structure to be a brand new mid-game challenge, and considering the fact how the Illusioner actually plays out, if I was, say, like, more mid-game, maybe Iron Armor, not Netherite, max out, everything like that, this would be a very, very dangerous, formidable mid-game challenge. You would have to, like, gear up and at least have a bow with, like, extra arrows and stuff by the time you want to take on the Illusioner. It might not be Wither 2.0 or nothing like that, but with a lack of gear, the Illusioner is the perfect mid-game boss. Moving on from the perfect opportunity for the perfect boss, let's take a look at the, uh, the not-so-perfect loot. I mean, not the best example. This loot is actually decent. But let's take a look at the loot. For example, from one of these trial spawners, I got an ender pearl for taking out a challenge. From another one, I got a potion. At least that's cool. And then the trial key. Trial key doesn't really count because we have no clue what it is, but at least when it comes for the other loot inside of the structure, eh. For the most part, the loot that you'll be looting inside of the trial chambers that are chambered is really not the best loot in the entire world. Look, the devs have stressed time and time again, don't worry, it's like temporary loot. They're gonna change it later on. The devs have also stressed a couple times that the trial chamber is meant to be a structure that you can play multiple times. That's why they added the trial spawner, kind of like how they added it. A spawner that is like, has a cooldown and can give you loot in the future. The best way to add loot that you can continuously get that is also probably really good is maybe paywalled in. Yeah, locked behind a dangerous bad mob that you will have to take on. Say the Illusioner or something. If you head to the trial chamber the first time, find the Illusioner chamber, take it on and take it out. Maybe you get that brand new combat thing, uh, like a, a new axe 2.0, upgraded for combat. You find the Illusioner, you take it out, you get the reward, then you leave. And then the next person who comes back to it can play the structure exactly how the devs are seeming to want it to be played. Or more so replayed. Now last but not least, we kind of already touched on this one briefly, so I'll make it quick, but when it comes to the rooms for the Illusioner, I feel like we could definitely potentially already have a room that would work perfect, like the exact chamber, to take on the Illusioner inside of the structure. But there is always the possibility of a little bit more. The biggest spot where I feel like the devs could potentially branch off of the structure, other than, of course, just random dead-end hallways they said they're gonna fix later, could be this room right here. This is the entrance room. We know that from the loot table of this structure, like the files themselves. Maybe the entrance room is the entrance to the boss chamber, the proper arena, the real prize, the treasure where you actually come here at the end of the structure. Aside from the challenge itself, the structure doesn't really have a real reason to come here after all. Like, the loot? Yeah, you're not coming here for the loot. The challenge? I mean, if you want a challenge, you come here, but there's not like a, oh, you gotta stop here before you go to the end to get something type mechanic. Whoa, no way. I think this is a new room. I'm still finding new rooms to this day. Like, exploring the structure weeks after it was added. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this. That's such a cool room with a, with a door and the base and everything. Ah, oh, I love it. Ha, ah, so yes, the Illusioner. There are clearly so many reasons, uh, incredible reasons, as to why this mob could be coming to the game. There is one big reason as to why maybe the Illusioner is not coming to the game. And that's the big folks that the devs have nowadays. The lore. 
When it comes to the lore of the pillagers, I mean, it's all left intentionally vague, but it seems like the pillagers are surface dwelling mobs. Like, you know, they live on the surface, probably explored in ancient times, eventually settled down at the Woodland Mansion at the outpost. Why in the world would they be down in the mines? After all, I mean, it's always hard to tell what the pillagers really care about in life, but they never seem to care about things down inside of the mines. If they don't care about the mines, why would they be down there? And also, taking a look at all of the pillager structures, they don't build with top forever, and absolutely not tough either. So, why is a pillager inside of the trial chamber? Doesn't make sense. Well, my friend, no offense, but I think that's where you're wrong. The trial chamber makes perfect sense for the pillager. I think I talked about it and say like this video right here, but the trial chambers is actually the perfect opportunity to expand on the pillagers lore a little bit. Maybe the pillagers in ancient times somehow summoned in the illusion or got one of these things into the, the world or whatever, and then it went haywire a little bit crazy. At the time when this thing was added into the game, the pillagers brought it into existence. They realized, oh, this is way too dangerous. Maybe it was even like attacking the villagers. They could add that AI into the game. It shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, basically, we got this big bad pillager into the game that the pillagers tried to bring in to like take out the villagers or whatever, but it went wrong. They moved way down under the ground, built a chamber out of blocks that are stronger than the blocks they usually build with. They make it a big confusing maze with sometimes other things cutting into the maze to like confuse anybody who might accidentally let out the illusioner. They add even more other spotters and traps to protect the illusioner and anybody trying to actually set it out. And yeah, long story short, it's all a big chamber to stop anybody from releasing the illusioner to the wild. So lads, laddies, everybody, what do you think? Do you think the illusioner is perfect for the structure and could maybe be coming to the game? You got another reason or something, you let me know down below. Ah, I think that'd be fascinating. I'd like to send a big thank you to my patrons, Archangel, Ground Crazy May, Medical Boomstick, Swoopy Loopers, Noodle Pork, Bill W, Tanner B, Austin B, Andrew H, and Gabriel Y. You're all amazing. For the occasional extra bonus content and world downloads, tap that join button right down below the video today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little dive into the potentials of 1.21. I'm sure I'll be back soon with another one. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.